Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And today we're going to be reviewing Bavida's Acrylic Humidors. Today we have both the small and the large Bavida Acrylic Humidors. As some of you may be aware, or if you're not aware, if you click the link above here, we've got a full review on different types of humidors, from wood humidors, cooler doors, Ziplocs, everything you name it, including acrylic humidors. But today we're going to be focusing on just these acrylic ones, talking pros, cons, whether we would buy them, and what potential uses for them actually are. Absolutely. For example, here I have a large humidor, as you can see, acrylic from the heat Bavida. Uh, meanwhile, Paul has the three smaller ones. Three small ones. So the uh, the recommended capacity of this is 12 to 20 cigars and I believe the big one is 75, but that obviously depends on the size of the cigar you're actually going to be storing. So, um, I don't know if uh, I'll take it away maybe on yeah. the uh, on tell, the small ones. Tell us ones. about the small ones and then we'll talk so, about the large one after. Well, the nice thing with these uh, Bavida humidors is that you can uh, actually put the Bavida packs uh, below the cigars themselves. So, if I remove a few of these uh, Cohibas delicately, um, we're going to reveal um, some Bavida packs underneath and these Bavida packs are actually at 65% RH uh, which is I think is one of the main benefits that we're going to talk about these acrylic humidors is that this creates a small microclimate mm. uh, of 65% RH where I usually keep my regular kind of new world cigars at a 68 to 69 where it's uh, believed and a lot of people in practice have uh, mold issues with uh, Cubans when they hit them at higher RH so a lot of people have them at like 62 65 so for me with a very small uh, collection of cubans having a couple of these to store them uh, has been an ideal uh, scenario so that's perfect and what other advantages do you have of these i mean for example they looks like you can stack them yeah so with these little ones they're quite nice because you can stack them um so i have these at the office uh and just put them away in a closet. Again, being uh, you know clear acrylic, we don't want to have them out all the time in daylight because they can bleach the wrappers and potentially uh, affect the uh, smoking experience. Uh, also, you always talk about kind of a kind of a small greenhouse effect. Yeah, yeah um, so. because you have a transparent surface. If that goes under UV light, it's going to heat up as well, and uh, you might end up having temperature spikes. So it's important to keep these in the dark unless you're taking them out as display pieces something that we'll talk about a little bit later we also have the ability to put in um you know kind of a hygrometer as well so mm. this is the bavida smart sensor uh check the link above and in the description below for our comparative reviews of the bavida smart sensor as well as other app enabled hygrometers as well as the ones that you may have been familiar with such as digital or analog ones as well but this is really nice because i can just pop this in Kind of close the lid and i can still kind of spot check what the temperature and rh is in this environment especially when you've got you know uh, potentially more premium cigars such as uh, as cubans you know so what's the size like it seems ideal but uh any well, drawback? well i think the drawback on the on this one i mean this is great as you can see uh charles philippe here has configured it but mm. with the uh with the small one um you're gonna actually struggle to get a uh, a full box of cigars in so we've actually got these uh little uh, Robustos here from Camacho and this uh, I believe is Perfecto yeah. uh, uh, here as well so you can stack these I think that's where you can actually get a full box in is where I had these uh, Monte Cristo um, Artisan series number two and I was unable to put a full box in so I unfortunately charged uh, myself and Charles Philippe with smoking the extra few that uh, didn't fit in the box but yeah you can kind of see that um, that only stacks too deep and if you went to a third layer mm. um, you wouldn't be able to close the lid and again what we're trying to maintain is the integrity of the airtight seal on these uh, these humidors here absolutely so. what's interesting with the seal is that they're held together as well by magnets if i'm not mistaken you've got magnets here on each side so that adds extra seal it's the same on the small ones as the large ones uh shall we talk about the large one Go for it. Yeah, well, as you can see, it's bigger. Uh, we have, as Paul mentioned, a 75% capacity. What I quite like about this one compared to the small ones is when you open it, you have a very convenient tray here, which allows you to pull out the cigars and be able to change your humid humidity packs that are underneath. In terms of width, it's much more convenient and it will hold the most common larger length Vitolas, which are double Coronas, like these 30th anniversaries here from Avo. 
Then we also have the ability to change the separators. They've got some convenient little slots all the way down that let you move them securely across the humidor. In terms of drawbacks, now there was a comment that you had especially, uh, it's not straight. Yeah, it's not straight. So uh, I actually had purchased these uh, prior because of the, uh, the need to store the uh, Cubans at a lower R RH. And we've been lucky enough to be in contact with the guys over at mm. Bravida and especially Rob, who is the um, the box press uh, podcast presenter over there. Mm. And they actually provided this one to us uh, for a review. So thanks a lot for that, guys. Appreciate um, it. One of the drawbacks we were talking about was the fact that it's a kind of a curved top. And his response was that, well, really for the for the price point, and these come in at around $200 and these come in at 70 that this is really kind of a more display piece. This isn't really a mm. long-term storage piece. So where I had actually been stacking two of these at the office, like really when you get to this level for 200 bucks, um, you know, as we've shown in our best entry level humidor video, uh, link below around $100 for a hundred count, uh, when you get up to $200 here for a 75 count, yes, it's very attractive. Mm. Yes, it's going to be great at maintaining, you know, that uh, RH, but it also has drawbacks with being acrylic, which compared to wood, if you want to discuss that. Yeah, so with wood, you've got uh, typically cedar, you have that wonderful woody smell, which some say can impart slightly on the flavor of your cigars in a positive way. With acrylic, you actually get more of a plasticky smell which sometimes needs opening before you even consider putting any cigars in there to let the smell escape eventually. So, to be honest, to interject, I haven't really, you haven't had that. I haven't experience. experienced that. Okay. I know some people have. I mean, this definitely had a much stronger mm. plastic smell when we first got it's it out of the now. box. Yeah, it's gone now for mm. sure. But I didn't really get that out of the smaller ones. Maybe I know that they just ordered these back in because they were out of stock. So maybe it's because mm. they were you know, fresh off the factory floor being produced, but um, yeah. And personally, that will always be a, a big deal for me. I absolutely love wooden humidors, and uh, Paul's uh, shown me all his setups with cooler doors and wiener doors and tupper doors and all these <laughs> doors, and uh, as my collection increases, I'm really scratching my head of how I want to go about storing it. Do I want to go through acrylic? Do I want to go through tupper doors, cooler doors, or any of these other approaches? Or do I really want to stick to wood, which for me, is a much more sensual and uh, enjoyable experience. There's definitely um, pros and cons to both mm. methods, you know? So like, would I buy this these again? Yes, I definitely would, based off my yeah. knee, because I'm probably not, in, in the near future, mm. gonna have a humongous collection of uh, Cubans. I'm definitely more of uh, in the kind of new world mode right now. So mm. I have much larger storage solutions for that particular type of cigar. But when we're talking about Cubans where I'm maybe going to have, you know, 20, 30 at a time where two or three of these boxes can suffice. Um, I think that's going to be fine as well as, you know, I actually have an office where I greet clients, I greet guests, like friends come over like yourself mm. and other guys on the bespoke unit team. And this is great just to pop mm. on the desk and say, hey guys, want to grab a cigar? You mm. know, it's where, you know, I don't know if you necessarily have that scenario. No, these days, uh, yeah, with all I have right now is a desktop humidor and that's sufficient for my needs at the moment. My collection isn't big enough to warrant anything like this or even the other storage solutions. So it's a consideration I'm going to have to take into account in the near future, but not yet. So in summation, we like these very much. Oh, fantastic. They are yeah. a fantastic presentation piece. I mean, you've got a nice Bavida logo there. Mm. You know, you've got a nice airtight seal on them. Mm. Um, you've got nice vents. I mean, it definitely performs the job. Oh, and yeah. for, uh, in my uh, kind of use case, it does serve a purpose two ways. Mm. One is a display piece at the office and two to have a smaller uh, kind of RH environment for some Cubans. Um, however, uh, I think we both agree that there are cheaper options, oh, yeah. but when we're talking about cigars, sometimes cheaper doesn't always get Exactly, yeah, you want the you best know, of cigars, just like come children. Into play. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, if you have any questions or comments below, uh, please put them down there. We we'll always appreciate your feedback. Uh, if you agree or disagree with us on this. Furthermore, please like this video if you did so. Check out all the links below because we have an absolute insanely deep resource around cigars and other men's topics. Mm. Checking out our channel and the related playlist. And as always, please subscribe to our channel. As she CP likes to say, smash that subscribe button. Smash it. So <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. I'm Paul Anthony. I'm CP. See you next time. Take care.